Hello everyone, welcome back. Dope on Rope here. I'd just like to start off by thanking everyone who's watched my videos. It's really, really nice of you and a super duper big thank you to anyone who subscribed. I can't thank you enough. It, 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 you'd be amazed how much it helps. It does make you feel like it's like worth doing, you know what I mean? But, but sincerely, thank you to anyone who's just watching in general, but thank you if you have subscribed. It's I hope I don't disappoint too much. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. Um, so today, carrying on from yesterday, which is when I went to the hospital and got my ass pretty much handed to me. Well, I mean, I kicked ass myself, but I didn't do half what I wanted to do. Right, so I was going to do some cooking today, but luckily, yesterday, before I went to sleep, I, because I, it was about like, what, eight o'clock, something like that, and I don't normally like to go to bed till midnight, just so I don't wake up before my alarm goes off, so luckily the food defrosted, and it was only like nine o'clock, I think it was, so I spent the last, like, two and a half hours, something like that, just making the food, so they're all ready to go, I just need to cook them today, so that's what I'm going to quickly do now, just because he does need some decent food. So I will go set up the barbecue ready. I think there should be some wood. Yeah, just one piece. All you'll need is one piece ready. I mean, I don't know why I've got three barbecues. It's a bit greedy. You only need the one. So we will add the plank. Add the plank. There we go. Right, I'll go grab the food. I think you get like an hour, hour and a half's worth of burn out of a plank of wood. It might even be two. It might be the scrap wood that gives you an hour and a half. Either way, one's, one piece is enough. So I will grab all my food. The other ones should be in the freezer over here. Get that cooking, and while that's cooking I need to go and top up my generator. I check how my weight is doing here, yeah, still going down unfortunately. Should hopefully start countering that now, because most of this is basically all meat. And some lard. I did run out of lard in the free in the fridge, and I couldn't be bothered to go try and hunt it down. But most of it's got lard in it. Chuck it all in there. Right, it's like this. Oh yeah, bollocks. I need um a piece of paper or a twig or something. I have twigs around here. Yeah, I forget you need to have some. I mean, you can use tissue or I uh, think it's like a sheet of paper, but normally find twigs are the best because you get so much, so many twigs as you're cutting down the logs anyway. Just seems like the smartest way of doing it. But yeah, if, if it did let you use toilets, it'd be quite handy because like, like, I'd have toilets, you know, I could go to the toilet or just dig a hole and go to the toilet. But yeah, I would like them to introduce the need to use the loo. Right now, uh, light. Right. So while that's doing that, because it's got to get, it's got to defreeze it, or unfreeze it, and then it'll start cooking, so I've got a bit of time. Shut the door, it's just more of a, I don't know why, <laughs> it's just habits. Check on the generator. 50%. So I will top it up. I just cut that out. I don't think it did much, but it's just annoying. Right, yeah, so I'll get cooking, cook the food up. Once that's cooked, I will eat some. And then, thinking of just going back to the back to the hospital again. I know it's a bit like, oh, you did that yesterday, but I do want to get it done. The sooner I get it done, the 
sooner I can burn the fucking thing down. Well, I won't burn it down straight away, but once I know it's clear and there's nothing else in there for me, at least I know when I do start my old Operation Scorched Earth, I will uh, just be able to just straight up burn it down straight away. Right, right, so that's going to take quite a while. So that's both good and annoying. I could speed it up, but there is other things I can quickly do well. While that cooks. I do need to start collecting all this shit up. I did most of them, but I think there is still some tents with uh, goodies inside. The problem is, I think I'm running into them thinking there's nothing there because I should have cleared them, but <laughs> you never know. Something might have walked back in here in the middle of the bloody night. It's very unlikely, but I should probably always be prepared. Which currently, I'm running around like a fucking idiot, so... What have we got? Just bits and bobs, bits and bobs. Plenty of bullets. I just gotta make sure I have enough M16s to use the bloody things. Like I said, I think there's three in this area, if I remember correctly. But I could be getting confused. I'm pretty sure I emptied this one, but I'll double check. Oh, well, that pisses all over that there. I swear I came... Oh yeah, I think I just got the bullets. I didn't take the clothes. I just want to bring it all into the one area. Because hopefully I'm going to survive for a fair few years, so in theory, I'd have thought all of this will eventually overgrow. But I've never... I've never survived... I think the longest I survived was like a year or something like that. Um, but then eventually I always do something stupid and just get your ass killed. It's probably going to be different now because I've turned off the respawn for the zombies. Whereas before, every like 30 days they'd spawn back in. So it's just a, you're just you're just fucked basically. Eventually you're gonna get you'll do something. I mean you'll still get potentially do something stupid now and get yourself killed, but at least you have more of a chance. I'm gonna just chuck all this shit in here to actually kill a good chunk of zombies off in the area, and you might actually have a degree of safety. Fuck it in there. I'll keep it on it because I don't want it to burn. No, my luck, it's fucking burning. Nope, very close, that's good. Right, so they all should be cooked at the same time, which is good. Just keep an eye on it for when it says cooked. There we go. I presume it would use your water. He ain't just gonna smack it with his hand. <laughs> but you never know. And never my luck, he tried to put it out with his fucking hands and set himself on fire. Right. So, as far as I'm aware, those are like the safest way of cooking. I've never had a fire in one of these barbecues. But that doesn't mean you can, it just means I haven't had one. And the dice have rolled in my favour isn't always a guarantee. Right, so I have the one. Yes, okay, so I'll eat that one. These ones I'll stick in the freezer, just because I don't want them to go bad. Do -do -do, stick one over here. I could definitely do it more cooking pots, because I think I got seven on it. So seven's not too bad. That's You get through one stew a day, so you got your week's worth before you got to cook again, but it's always nice to... I'd rather have too many than too few. Right, so cook half. It's really good for your hunger, 105. There we go. Put that in there. 
full to bursting, which is good. It might take a while because he is like so he's been so hungry for so long that I think it'll take a few stews for it to pop back up. Ideally I'd wait as soon as you can eat again, but I'm not gonna be in the base. Right, put that in there. Put that in there. Nope. Oh fuck it. Okay. Well. Right. So now I'm fed up. As in fed up. Not fed up. I will head back to the Hosh Here's my crowbar again. Not bad. Took half of my crowbar to kill all those fucking zombies yesterday. It's a fair trade though. Definitely a fair trade. I keep seeing green and I like green, so I'm like, ooh, clothes. I mean, I presume you can get deaf zombies, because you can make a deaf character, so I suppose if your deaf character dies, you have a deaf zombie, so... a few zombies. Question is, would it pay to get that car and run the fuckers over? Maybe. away all his energy now. Is that feeling a little sad? Ugh. That's because I let his boredom get up too high. <laughs> ah. Phew. Or I could just honk my horn over here. I know I'll have to kill him at some point, but ideally I'd wait. Oof, that might have been a stupid idea, honking the fucking horn. It might have been. Yes, it was. Okay. So things not to do. Don't honk your horn like I do. Unless you're a f fucking idiot. Um, plan B. Plan B is... Uh, <laughs> potentially... Get fucked. That's the car with the alarm. But I'd have thought. Surely one of these cars has fuel in it. And I can hotwire it. Go on, go on, go on, be open. Yes. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, 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 go on. Fuck. Go on, 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 go on. Nope. 
fuck it. We're already making noise, so why not fucking make a bit more? Alright, oh, bell end. Getting them out of the hospital. Jeez. See, this is why you shouldn't shoot fucking guns. <laughs> Plan B is to grab the gas can out of the back of there. I can always potentially then fill up that other car. Although ideally, I'd want a better car because I get the feeling that one's as good as fucked. So, can I? Going to that black car I just hot wired. Hmm. The more I fuck about, the more energy I use. So it's going to be harder to get the hospital done today. But then, at the end of the day, I do need to kill all these fucking zombies at some point. Alright, so no is the answer to going back over there. Jesus Christ, all I did is fire seven, yeah, seven shotgun shells and honk my fucking horn. And now the hordes have arrived again. far enough away. I'm so glad it started. I was a bit scared it wasn't actually going to start then. Right, that's enough. Don't want to put too much in there because I don't want to condition the car. I get the feeling it's pretty knackered. It's pretty knackered. I don't know if I should do this. It's one easy way to get yourself killed. Okay, plan B will be just to draw them away. Or plan C at this point. As in, can't get a fucking break. It now. Come on, you stupid fuckers. Where do I go?
That's bullshit. That fucker came from off screen directly for me. See this? This is bullshit. They shouldn't have a clue I'm fucking here. No rest for the wicked. Money doesn't grow on trees. This has turned into a fucking shit show. He's gonna be fucking exhausted. Oh, he opened that with a key. I do need to rest though, because he's fucking exhausted. Right, okay. Don't hear anything, which is good. I'm gonna go upstairs though, I think. Just to make sure. Right, okay. And I will put the gas can. Don't sleep, you fucking dickhead. Rest. Right, so that was an adventure. I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> okay. It's normally a good sign that you are actually quite safe, otherwise someone would have come up behind you. Right, so continuing from yesterday, oh. I'm sure there's still a disgusting amount of zombies in here. Yep. Yes, there is a disgusting amount of zombies. Yes, there are. spoke English my whole life and I'm still shit at it, so forgive me for that. Why 
where the fuck? Oh, they're coming from upstairs. Ugh. How bad's the upstairs then? If all of these zombies came from upstairs then, oh my god. I don't know if I would want to go upstairs. Right, is that it? No, I can still hear one. So that's bloody annoying. Oh, fuck's sake. I knew you were coming, you fuck. God, nothing comes now. Disinfectant, good, good, good. Possible. Safe to say, I'm looking forward to burning the fucking thing down. It has caused me nothing but stress. And it's getting to the point where I'm gonna f fucking leave all this stuff in here and burn it down. Anyway. I don't even know what to say. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> the most zombies in the fucking game when they're all in one fucking building. Fuck's 
Sioti Trozy. Takes the piss. I will be so happy when I do burn this fucking place down. Too fucking shit myself to fucking talk. They just stand in such stupid fucking places. Oh, you fucker. in a minute and I I'm seriously considering just burning this fucking place down without emptying it first it's proving to be a nightmare Let's have a look up here. I can only imagine. Oh, I got again. stuff off. I have to rest a second and then try and come back in. I know the zombies just got inside so I have to deal with him before I can rest. What are you doing? Fucking hospital is unbelievable. Seventy one. Fuck's sake, he's still going down. What's wrong with him? See, I'd need to eat really. I, I think the Chris is gonna do fuck all. Z 
see sad blah 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 the usual um yeah it's really annoying that his fucking weight still going down all the stuff that's still in here I would have burnt it down. I just know this can moment I do. If I don't get everything out of here, I will regret it. Or at least the bulk. should have put this on the passenger side, but I don't think I'm going to get enough stuff out of this hospital to fill this fucking truck up. I'm glad I lost that horde of zombies that was following me, although they are still in the area. place is a fucking disaster so look at it, the state of it compared to how clean it was when I came in here yesterday. Yes, I know. I mean, I probably would be alright with the supplies I've got out here already. I, I won't need them all. It is purely greed, because it's like, if if I manage to get through all of my meds I've got now, and I'm still alive, then that's a miracle, you know. <laughs> the horrible fact is I probably won't even get to use any of these meds. I'll get bit and you'll be like, well, you're fucked. Like, there's no point in even having any meds if you're bit. <clears throat> May as well just blow your own fucking brains out. The more I think about it, the less I want to go back in there. This is a nice car. Look 
looks like it's in good condition. It is in very good condition. This is good. Can I tow it? I mean, I'd have thought back to that. Just a bit. Not worth it. I mean, I did do this back at base anyway, so. May as well just fucking do it now. There's nothing in these that's going to be any use anymore because these are all food buildings. And at this point, the food's all fucking rotten. Quickly bring up the map. So we got the gas station. Obviously, you ain't going to burn that down. Ideally. But all of this, I'll fucking burn down. I might even go do that now. Go back, make some molotovs, just set them up on fire. So I can come back out and grab that other car then. gonna do it. I'm gonna burn them down with stuff inside. It's just too much hassle. Shitting myself every time I go in the bloody building. And like I say, I doubt if I'll ever need all of those meds anyway. Rip sheets, take them. Right now. Gotta remember where I put the fucking bourbon. I was like, oh, I put it here. <laughs> and I've forgotten where here was. And I've got one in here, so that's all right. I'll take him. So I thought I was gonna put the put it in there because I'm not gonna use it for medical stuff. So I wouldn't have put it in here. Put it somewhere safe. So safe that I can fucking find it. Fucking serious. See, I have slightly, I've got wait, wood 
like the glues there, I've got the magazines I've read, the excess books are in there because I haven't got enough room. My propane stuff is in there. So I have started to organise stuff. It's just there's so much shit. I can't believe I can't fucking find them. Where the fuck did I put them? Must be down here then. Bourbon. Alright, okay. Let's try to get word then. Okie dokie. I thought I put it with the weapons. Right, here we go. Operation Start Burning Shit Down. I will drink the orange soda. I mean, is there a reason they put orange soda in the game? Is it purely because of Keenan and Kel? I mean, if it is, then fair enough, because that's like, that's going back in the day. But it's the only time I could think of orange soda really being popular as Keenan and Kel. So, if it is, then damn, that's a, that's, that's cool. <laughs> Who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. Is it true? Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> oh, that was the shit back in the day. I mean, that's got to be why it's in there. Otherwise you'd put... Well, you know, I suppose you couldn't put Pepsi or Coke, could you? Like lemonade, I suppose. Or apple... Appleade. Very tired, of course, he is. <sighs> just want to drive there. <laughs> go on, have fuel on it. Go on, go on, go on. start with this one and I'll burn down the other one. Now I'm going to throw it <laughs> inside. Now this could be stupid. Yes, yes, yes it was stupid. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, so throw it outside. Ha <laughs> ha burn you bastard. <laughs> yes, burn you fuckers. Not that there's anything in there, but burn you fuckers. Just want to make sure it's actually burning. not sure how good like like the range for him to stay burning for it. If I go over to the 
the hospital. I don't know if it'll keep burning. I hope it will. But I get the feeling it extinguishes itself to a degree. Because I've set a load of zombies on fire before. Drove quite far away to come back and they've put themselves out. So it's a bit like, hmm. So I'm hoping that'll keep burning. Because I want to go start the fucking hospital. Just thinking, make sure there's nothing super duper I can think of that I want to get. I don't think there is. Ideally, I'd have to took one of those fridges in the back of there, but it seems to be so broken you won't let you take them. Other than that, it's just more medical stuff, but. Do I burn it down? I will leave that for you, the viewers. Let me know. If you think I should burn this fucker down, which I'm very tempted to, let me know. Leave a comment, let me know. Or should I leave it for now and wait, because there's always a chance I might need it. So let me know. Let me know in the comment section whether you want me to torch it now or wait. It's probably for the best. Right, so I'm going to leave that to you, the viewers. If anyone wants to leave a comment and let me know what they think and please feel free and I will go by what you decide I will burn it down eventually it's just whether you think I should burn it down now or wait yes that's it burn intrigued to see how much it burns. While I'm here, I'll uh, check out these vehicles. went into the woods as well. So where am I on the map? I am here, so gonna be trees, zombies, and then the river. You know what? I'm gonna throw one in the fucking forest. Fuck it. Why not? Zoom it'll spread and cook everything. Nope. <laughs> you telling me that it's too wet. I mean possibly it is green and lush, so I'm not sure how well it would burn, but I'd have thought a bit better than that, seeing as it's a fucking Molotov cocktail. That's quite a letdown, really. God damn it, I want this whole building to be ash. I think 
the only way I'm going to get my uh, scorched earth idea is if I go around with a fucking sledgehammer and knock down every single fucking building. And that just seems like a silly idea. I just want everything around my base to be black ash. Boom. Pretty pointless in a game like this, I grant you that, but if it was like a, a first person or a third person shooter, it'd be very handy. But, um, probably pointless in a game like this. just happen to enjoy the scorched earth technique. Because I am a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Well, it wasn't quite how I expected it to go. So what I will do now with the rest of the day, I think will be some fishing. I definitely need to start doing something like that because my weight is going down and fish seemed to, when I played it last and I was catching fish and cooking fish stews, my weight was going well up, like to the point that you were starting to get overweight so I was like, <clears throat> so that's quite good. I was also growing food, like crops, so I don't know if that helps. I presume it would, otherwise what's the point in fucking even doing it? Well, I'd like to stay alive. Right, just stick that in there. I want that, because I'm going to put my fishing gear in it over by the, by the actual river. Now it's just getting all the fish and stuff up together. Which I think... Most of it is in here. Paper clips. Yeah, and you want wire as well, don't you, I think? Fucking stung is sucking weird now. Right. I think that's probably all the fishing stuff for the moment, so I will eat the rest of this. go and try and find some more cooking pots. I do like to have a good amount. It's just sometimes it's better to have too many than too few. And I 
definitely be nice if I could have like 14 stews that you cooked, cooked up ready, just frozen. Just gives you a bit more time to, you know, you don't, you're not just like, fuck, I gotta cook now, fuck, I gotta do this now. Gives you a bit of leeway. Right, take key. thing is, because I am here, not that you can see it, but there is a fence blocking off down there and at the top, so the only way to get to where I am now is through there, so if I do put like a gate up at some point, you can fish in safety, which you can now because there isn't anything around, but you never know, somebody could come up behind you and fuck you in the ass. Well, you're not looking. It'd be very unlikely, because they'd have to walk so far. They'd have to know I'm here for them to migrate that far. But they'd have to migrate into the base through the two entrances before they could even do this. And I think there is actually another way in. Like, right down here, I believe, there's like a, a broken bit of fence. Um, so I might have to rebuild that sometime. Right, but until then, I will... I don't know why I put that in my fucking hands. Put that in your fucking bag. Your fucking bag. Right, grab one of they. May as well use the worms. Right, so I'm gonna fish. Fishing rod, worms, and into my backpack. Right. The good thing is, seeing as I'm here, I should be able to speed it up. Nice. Oh, what? That's most likely because his fishing skill is so piss poor. I'll just take two out. Fishing, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I haven't finished reading the fishing book. That would help. Okay. Things to do. Right, fuck it. That's enough for now. Um, equip your shotgun, because it's easier. Get out over there. has something to do. I need to finish reading, reading the fishing book. I did get some fish and big ones as well. Big fish are good. Good. Right, I want to straight up freeze them. Would that fit on the other side? Nope. Noise, 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 noise. Noise. Big, big. Smalls are all right though, better than a kick in the nuts. Right, so that's good. I want to equip that in my hands. Socks, I mean, 
I shouldn't complain really. I mean, it's not ideal. I'd rather have fish because I can get fucking socks off of dead zombies, but I do think I actually need some socks. So I'll let the fishing off today. <laughs> Normally I'd be like, for fuck's sake, shoes and socks, who the fuck wants that? I mean, who the fuck's throwing socks and shoes at the goddamn river? Assholes, that's who. Alright, uh, here we go. Ridiculously you tired, yeah. That's not going to go away until I eat something like some tin fruit. We discovered that was actually good, because I'd never pick it up because it's fucking useless. But it's actually okay for giving you back your. Uh, sorry, your unhappiness. Um, I presume peaches would do the exact same. It is fruit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Alright, so tin fruit is actually quite useful. I always leave it because like, it doesn't give you much in the way of like food, really. Well, it says straight up to well fed, but you know. Um, but if it's good for your happy, like bringing your, putting your mood up, then it is worth it. Is he going to finish reading that by midnight? I think not. No. Oh, 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 oh. I could keep him up a bit longer if I know he's going to finish it. Like one o'clock is pretty much the latest you want to go to bed. I don't think he's going to finish it by one either. No. Right, okay as much as you could. Right everyone, thank you all for watching. It's been a bit of a adventurous day. Set two buildings on fire, got a new car, uh, caught some fish, killed a few more zombies. It all went tits up in the hospital as per usual. But yeah, if, you th if, you, if you'd like me to go and burn it down now, leave a comment and let me know if you think I should leave it and wait in case I do need it and let me know but yeah feel free to leave a comment and thank you all once again for watching and thank you all very much if you subscribed thank you very much right take a steady people